What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about my 2000 litre tank behind me and how I've overstocked it and messed up this tank. So let's get straight on with the video. Right, as you can see behind me, as you all know, this is uh, my 2000 litre tank aquarium. Um, I've got silver arowana, um, Asian arowana, I've got silver dollars, datloids, oscars, plecos, and peacock bass. What's happening at the weekend, I've got, um, I'll show you the bass. I've got um, four bass in this tank. I've got two Tomenses, a mono and a reno bass. So all the bass are going, okay? Um, I don't want to do it. I haven't really got a choice. The um, Tomenses bass are just completely just annihilating everything at the moment. They've eaten my blue Acara. They're, um, they're going for the, uh, the clown loaches. They're going for all sorts of fish. They're going, um, going completely crazy. The other two aren't so bad, but they are sort of eyeing up my clown loaches. Well, I've got seven clown loaches, which are at the back there. Um, they've actually eaten a, a bircher as well, a white bircher, which was, um, to be fair, he was actually quite a big sort of, quite a big sort of size fish. He's nowhere near as big as that bircher has just gone through there. But um, he was sort of a, quite a big fish, you know. He's sort of six or seven inches, and they, um, they completely destroyed him. So yeah, like I said, the bass are going, they're going to be going this Saturday. I'm, um, I'm dropping off to a bloke I met on um, Instagram. He's called Aquarium Monsters Hearts UK, he's called. His name's Jamie, so he's got like a, sort of a tropical room he has, so he's got all sorts of tanks and stuff in it like that. So it's going to be really cool to see what he's actually got up there. I'm going to do a uh, YouTube video on it all up there hopefully as well. So, so it's going to be the two Tomenses the mono and the arena at the back there so it's quite sad really to get rid of them but this tank I actually bought um, two years ago and it was just basically for two arowana some oscars and plecos and maybe some silver dollars like I've done and obviously my clown loaches and um, you know it's like a spare of the moment thing you're sort of in a shop you see a fish and you're like oh, I want that fish man so yeah, I bought a fish, sort of a spare and moment thing. Um, I had them obviously in my 700 litre tank, in my old tank out in the garage. Um, obviously put them in here and to be honest with you, some people say it's not overstocked, but personally in my eyes, I think it's overstocked. It's not, I don't find it fair on the fish. And um, obviously you have to up your water changes and stuff like that with more fish in the tank. You have to clean your filters more regularly. It's more food going in the tank, that sort of thing. And um, yeah, just a bit gutted because um, the bass have uh, sort of uh, got a bit aggressive, you know, especially the cement, as you can see how big they are now. That, that one there is massive, and so is, well, actually, that one there is even bigger, the one with black stripes. I'm pretty sure they're male and female as well. But um, they're a great fish to keep. I will keep bass again one day, when I've sort of maybe moved house and I've got a bigger tank. Um, I might keep them with a lot of sort of stingrays and stuff. I want to do stingrays eventually in my life. So, um, but yeah, that's, that's the bass, they're gonna be, they're gonna be going. Um, all the other fish are staying, the arowanas are staying obviously, so the arowanas have more room to swim about and stuff. The Dattner is chucking on some size now as well, he's not going anywhere. So, um, personally, I, that's how I like it, the tank, I'm going to have it just arowanas, Oscars, silver dollars, clown lunches, plecos and the Dattner. So, yeah, bass are going. Anyway, while you're, um, while you're all here, I've got to feed the fish anyway, so we might as well do a quick feed. I've got some food ready here, I'll just quickly show you what I'm going to feed him tonight. So I've got, in this little pot here, I've got some anti-labs, um, what they, anti-labs algae wafer, there's anti-labs sinking pellet, and there's some Hakari uh, floating sticks in there as well. So let's smash this in the tank and see what happens. So they should go absolutely crazy, I haven't fed them today. See how mad they go, look. So let's throw it in, try not to let the arrow on to jump. Yeah, there we go. See how hard them bass take, they're incredible fish. The arowanas take really hard as well, but I've never seen fish take so hard as like the bass do, they're mental. Look at the size of that Tementis at the bottom there, that is huge man. See he sort of went for the bircher then as well, you notice that. So yeah, kind of glad they're going, but I'm a bit gutted at the same time because I've, I've thrown these fish up as like um, a sort of tiny little, sort of this sort of size, you know, so small sort of fish. 
Um, it's always hard getting rid of fish, especially if you've grown them up as, um, as fryers, babies, or whatever you want to call it. But um, it's got to be done. I haven't got, I haven't got the room to be keeping these massive fish. Um, I'm a bit stupid really buying them, you know. It's sort of a, like I said, a spare at the moment thing, but it's what it is. It's one of them things. Jamie's got a massive tank for them, which has already got bass and stuff in it as well, so they're going to be great in that tank. And they're going to, it's, it's going to be really nice as well because I can follow them on Instagram, see how well they're getting on. And he looks off his fish like I do as well. He does water changes all the time. Feeds them good food, um, cleans filters and stuff like that. So. Yeah, he's got a massive, uh, massive setup, which is going to be really good for them, and they can sort of stretch their legs a bit more in there as well. So, but yeah, that's just an update on the um, update on the 2000 litre monster tank at the moment. Um, obviously, like I said, the bass are going to go. Um, I might not put anything else in it. I don't think I will. The only sort of fish I would put in it is um, maybe a stingray, but we'll see how we get on. Let's see how much space we've got. I'm going to let the fish sort of grow for the next six months or so without anything else in there. Because the Dacnoy is sort of chucking on some massive amounts of size now as well. So, um, but yeah, that's basically the tank at the moment. Um, like and subscribe my channel, and uh, thanks for watching.